welcome back to a new video. My name is Fernanda if you don't know who I am and if you do, I love you guys. Hello, welcome. Before we start in this video, I want to say that if you didn't know this already, I started a podcast. It is called A Better You by Fernanda Ramirez. Yours truly and it is officially up on all streaming platforms Apple music Spotify Whatever all the information is going to be linked in the description down below and to make things even better I even filmed it So it's going to be on its own YouTube channel where I'm going to post the video versions of the podcast You guys can just search up on YouTube a better you podcast and it will be on there I hope you guys enjoy it if you love my channel You're gonna love the podcast because we touch in all subjects based on becoming your best self self-care lifestyle wellness fitness telling my personal stories stories and just chatting so I hope you guys check that out guys I took my extensions out and I'm filming this intro at the end of filming this YouTube video so if you guys see throughout this video my hair length switching is because I filmed it all at different times but in today's video I decided that I would make a video kind of showing you guys what I eat in a day what my favorite forms of exercise are my favorite supplements how I go grocery shopping what's in my gym bag just a whole bunch of things regarding wellness and working out and eating and stuff just know that every day I eat something different lately I've been eating a lot of protein and that's been really helping me and I've been looking a lot more lean and toned So I would highly recommend incorporating a lot of protein in your diet and also just finding a workout that suits you If I didn't make that clear throughout this video I feel like last year yoga was like my passion and I did that every single day and now I've been a lot more into weightlifting and I feel like that's completely fine Like it's kind of hard to do one thing for your whole life or for years on end But that's the fun part about experimenting with like fitness and working out and you don't even have to register it into your brain as like oh, I hate working out I don't want to do that it's more of just like let's try different forms of physical activity that are fun and do it with other people so that you enjoy doing it and it's something that you look forward to rather than something that you resent this is just for inspiration i love you guys if you want to see more videos like this like cooking what i eat in a day or fitness let me know and i can 100 do that for you and let's get on into this video <laughs> gym i'm feeling good i'm feeling strong look at these gains okay my kitchen is so messy behind me but we're gonna make a little juice a little green juice this morning because i have some celery and it's available to me and i love green juicing i honestly think that it makes my skin glow i feel like a new woman whenever i drink green juice and it's good for digestive issues like honestly celery juice has so many perks and i have so much celery here so that's what we're gonna use i also have carrot we could make like a carrot celery cucumber i honestly i have a lot i have ginger let's make a juice I have this it is chlorophyll has also a lot of health benefits it's like an internal deodorant I'm gonna add a few drops in here and then another thing that I have been loving is adding cayenne pepper which is really random but it gives it a little bit of a kick Before we drink our juice some vitamins that I've been taking recently that are out of the ordinary are these gummy vitamins They're apple cider vinegar from body energy club. I've been taking these two a day Also, I need to tell you my new tea favorite and it is these two I've honestly had such a good morning routine going for the past like two weeks and a part of my morning routine is that I make tea the first thing I do when I get up so that while I'm getting ready I have like tea to sip on my favorite ones are this one. This is traditional medicine organic orange tea ginger This is great for digestive and like all that kind of stuff and then this has been a new fave of mine This is turmeric gold by puka. This is organic and it says it is a golden blend of the finest turmeric and lemon fruit and green tea and this is amazing you can put a little bit of creamer if you're feeling a little bit spicy but those two are my fave also let me just while we're at it tell you more of my favorites i've been absolutely loving putting these powders into my smoothies the first one is this one organic maca i think maca has like a whole bunch of health benefits like it builds up your stamina and all this stuff i don't use this one that often but i have this and i recently got it and it's pretty good um, i have collagen this one's unflavored i explained it in like literally one of my last few videos but collagen is like the elasticity in your skin or something and it like decreases over time so if you take a supplement of it it's like gonna make you feel youthful and refreshed and glowy and like 
plump. And then this is an all-time fave of mine. This isn't sponsored. I actually got sponsored by them like three years ago and I still use it. But this is the Teamy Greens Superfood Blend. It has like 16 different superfood greens. It tastes so good. It just tastes like matcha, but then it has all these benefits. So it's like a two in one. And I always use this to make my banana date smoothies with protein powder and this and I'll add all the powders. And yeah, I love it. Okay, so now it's time we dive into the what I eat in a day. I split a banana in half and then I put Greek yogurt on top. I then topped it with blueberries, chia seeds, almonds, honey, and also granola. Then for lunch this day, I decided to try a little harder here and I made some salmon and if you've been watching my videos, I feel like I've talked about it before that ever since moving out on my own, I haven't been having that much protein. But like I said earlier in this video, the past few weeks, I've been really focusing on increasing my protein and so today we're making salmon and I did have to cut the end of it, which was kind of super unappetizing, but I ended up coating the salmon with honey, some teriyaki sauce, some garlic powder, some chili flakes, and I believe that was all and then I added it into the air fryer. I think I did like three. 150 degrees for like 16 minutes or something. I honestly, I don't remember. Then I went ahead and started cutting up and washing all my green beans. I absolutely love green beans and they are so good. Decided to steam them on my pan from our place. I also added some more seasonings and cayenne powder. Also had some leftover brown rice, so I just heated it up and then it was ready to all eat. Um, I didn't really make it look that aesthetic, but it was so delicious and this is one of my favorite meals by far and it was super, super, super easy to make and very healthy. Lastly for dinner today, I was feeling a little fancy, I guess you could say, because I decided to make shrimp, which I've never done in my entire life, but I saw a recipe for it online and I was very intrigued. Just watched a tutorial on TikTok on how to cook it. Started off by putting some butter, some olive oil. I then cut up two cloves of garlic and minced it and added it into the pan as well. Once I added the shrimp into the pan, I covered it with honey. And so as you can see, this is like a honey garlic shrimp. And honestly, just wait till the end. It looks so delicious. I also ended up adding some salt, pepper, and cayenne just for a little bit of extra taste. These look and smell amazing. I used to be such a picky eater, but I'm so excited for this. I then went on to cutting some cubed cucumbers and cucumber is so good for you. There's so much water in it and so many nutritious properties in them. I also cut up an avocado, which has a lot of healthy fats. And then I started decorating my plate. I started it off with some brown rice and then went in and made everything look super cute. I added my shrimp and it's such a balanced, easy meal to make. And you can definitely meal prep this as well and make a lot for the next couple of days if you wanted to. I added some lime over everything and then added some everything bagel seasoning to my avocado as well as some tahini on my rice and cucumbers, which is my absolute favorite. But yeah, this was a full day of eating. As for snacks, I love having dates as well as almonds. Today is Monday morning and I'm starting off my week strong with going to the gym. I have this planner and last night I actually went into most days of the week. I only went up to Thursday with scheduling my workouts for the week. This really helps me because it keeps me accountable. I feel like this is especially good if you are signed up for a gym that offers a lot of different classes. That way you can try them all out. I have today that I want to go to Equinox and I'm probably just going to like work out, do my own thing, but walk there and back, which should give me some cardio. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to do a 9 a.m. power full body class at House Concepts. On Wednesday, I'm going to do an 8.30 a.m. Matt Pilates at House Concept. And then Thursday, I have a 9 a.m. Power Full Body at House Concepts again. I probably will take like a vinyasa yoga class or maybe a reformer Pilates class. I thought it would be fun to do a little what's in my gym bag. I want to show you guys some of my essentials before I go over there. First of all, if you guys are wondering where my outfit is from, because it's super cute. My jacket is from Lululemon. It is the Align, I believe, in the color milkshake, I think. And then I'm wearing these white little shorts and sports bra 
from Aloe Yoga, which I love. And then my gym bag, I also love. It is from Gymshark and it looks like this. It is just gray. I think my number one gym essential that I bring with me are workout bands. I stained it last night with like smoothie on it, so let's not mind that. But these bands are perfect for doing like leg exercises and glute activation. I usually use the medium one, but you can buy these on Amazon. I'll have some link down below. Next thing I always bring with me are a pair of earphones. I love using my AirPods or I'll bring some over the head headphones. These are the Beats by Dr. Dre Solos, I think. I'm not exactly sure which kind these are. Next up, I bring some deodorant because we do not want to smell bad when we're at the gym. I am using the Dove Advanced Care Spray Deodorant. This one works really well. I also like bringing some little perfumes with me, like rollerball ones. You obviously don't need this, but it's nice to smell good in the gym when you are going to be sweating because we don't want to be the person smelling like B.O. I have a charger with me, got my keys. When I go to Equinox, they have a shower there, so I'll bring a pair of slides with me. Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I think this is just to remove my makeup and then a moisturizer from La Roche-Posay. I also have a lip balm with me, a few extra hair ties, my wallet. At Equinox, they actually do have a sauna room and a steam room. So whenever I go in the sauna, a lot of people are like reading in there. So I'm gonna bring a book. And the book that I'm reading right now is called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. One of the last things is my water bottle. This is the Lululemon water bottle. I just have it in white. I love this. I bring this around with me everywhere and I feel like it's so aesthetic and cute that it just makes you want to bring it with you. And then the last thing I have, which I don't use all the time because I don't necessarily think it's that good for you, but I do have an Alani pre-workout and pre-workout is basically like caffeine. Like it is just so much energy and when you're doing like a big workout class, sometimes a little bit of energy is not, you know, I'm not opposed to it. But like I said, I don't necessarily think that these are the best for you. But anyways, that is all the stuff that I have in my gym bag. I think it can be really hard to be motivated to go to the gym when you just decide the day of, but if you plan it the night before, it's so much easier and you're actually excited and you're looking forward to it the day of. Let me show you guys my favorite forms of exercise, starting with reformer Pilates. Today I'm going to Legree West in Yale Town. It is a reformer Pilates studio, but they have a new location, so I'm so excited. Their Pilates is actually really hard, and every time I like am a little bit extremely humbled, but I'm excited. It's also raining so hard right now. I believe the class I'm doing today is called Yale Town Mega Reformer, which is just when you use the machine and it's like a full body experience. Here she is. For today's workout, we're gonna be working out in the gym in my apartment. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too intense of a workout because I don't even have that much time, but I feel like this is the perfect workout for you guys to do at home if you wanna copy it. I think I'm going to go on the treadmill just because I wanna do some cardio, probably like 30 minutes of like 12, 3.30, which I'll explain that in a minute. And then I might do some band workouts for my glutes, I might do some ab workouts, might stretch a little bit, and then I feel like I'll be done. Like I said, I don't have that much time, but this is like a perfect workout to do if you're in a hurry or you just want like a little bit of cardio etc so let's get started this is today's gym outfit i'm wearing this green top and bottom from set active and then i'm just wearing this tank top which is from lululemon we are going to move this up incline of 12 and then a speed i usually like doing 3.1 and of course, we have to play music. I have a whole bunch of workout playlists on my Spotify if you want to follow it. It's Fernando Ramirez. Two A's in my last name. Make sure when you're doing any of these exercises, you guys are breathing in and out because it's gonna help and it's gonna make it a lot easier. And make sure you have some water with you because I'm like dying over here. Want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in my head, caught up in my feelings. I've been waiting for something new to happen. And when it happens, Happy Thursday! It's Thursday morning. I'm 
freezing, but I took pre-workout, so I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling good. I'm currently heading to my workout class of the day, and it is a power full body class at House Concepts, and I'm really excited, it starts at 9 a.m. I usually never walk, but I decided to today, and now I'm like out of breath, so tired, but I think there's like three more minutes until the class starts. that I love to work out. Let's talk about cycling. Now I have this yellow bike and it's been in storage ever since it's been the fall and winter, but now that spring is coming out again, it is the perfect weather to bike. I absolutely love biking around the city and feel like biking is so underrated. I just think it's so fun, especially while listening to music. And it's kind of a cute way to romanticize your life, pick a cute outfit and just enjoy the outdoors. If you can't do this outside, I also highly recommend taking a spin class. I love SoulCycle or I know that Equinox has also so good cycling classes. Another one of my favorite ways to work out is by doing vinyasa yoga or yoga in general. Today I have a clip of me doing yoga in my apartment with aloe moves and I used to do this all the time when I first moved into my apartment. Yoga is so good for your body and for your mind and your spirit and it really helped tone me up and strengthen my abs. And lastly here, I have matte Pilates. You guys saw me record this footage for when I did my pink Pilates princess video, but I absolutely love matte Pilates. It's so easy and not only can you do it at a gym, but you can also do it at home if you just search up a YouTube video. But yeah, those are my favorite forms of exercise. I also love to walk and do hot yoga. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just know that every week looks different. Sometimes I can work out four days a week. Sometimes I'll work out once. And I try not to force myself. I just know that moving my body makes me feel really good. And I highly encourage you to try a new workout if you haven't done one of these already. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. Make sure that you guys subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. I will see you guys soon. Thank you.